I'm Anil Kumar sharing with you another excellent question from my subscriber. You can actually pause the video, copy the question, answer, and then look into my suggestions. The question here is, let f of x equal to ax cube plus bx square plus cx plus 1 have extrema at x equals to p and q such that p is less than q p and q when multiplied is less than 0 and f of p f of q is also less than 0 then the equation f of x equals to 0 has three equal roots three distinct roots one positive if f of p is less than 0 and f of q is greater than 0 one negative root if f of p is greater than 0 and f of q is less than 0 um, very interesting question I hope you can solve it so just pause the video try to solve it and then look into my suggestions now let's try to understand it's a cubic function with y intercept at 1 this is kind of very critical to answer this question right so so let me just sketch here and we know for sure that whatever happens the y intercept is at 1 so there is a y intercept at 1 right now we have p and q where p is less than q and product of p q is negative that means one of them is positive and one of them is negative so this is p on this side and on this side let's keep q okay so likewise you know of course this will be a negative value okay now product of pq will be less than one if this is negative and that is positive and we also know that value of function at these two points when multiplied is also less than zero that means we have something on top of x line and something on the bottom of x line so there are two scenarios correct and we have uh, uh, maximum extremas maximum or minimum so basically we are looking for two scenarios one if we have a maximum here kind of like this right so think like this we could have something like this at p we have maximum and it has to go like this correct and then from q that could be one graph do you see that so at p we have a maximum at q we have a maximum one is positive one is negative so their product will be less than zero correct p and q p is on the left side so p is lesser than q so we get this scenario so if I look at it we see clearly three distinct roots so this is correct answer one positive root if f of p is less than zero well in this case this is f of p right so f of p is greater than zero we have one negative two positive this is also correct so we have three roots one negative and two positive so that is the scenario when f of p is greater than 0. Now it could be the other way also, correct? So it could be kind of uh, going downwards. And the graph will be, if you go down like this, you have to turn, go through the 1, right? That is the y-intercept. And then you have to turn at q and come down somewhere. Now that is the second scenario and in this scenario we have f of p is less than zero. Now if that is the case we get two negative and one positive root. One positive root that is correct. If f of p is less than zero and f of q is greater than zero. Do you see that scenario? Right. So here f of q is greater than zero. So that is also satisfied. So option B, C and D, all three of them are correct in this particular case. I hope the concept is absolutely clear. Now graphing polynomial functions as I did really helps you to quickly get 
the options, right? If you start solving this equation, it's going to be very tough. I hope you understand and appreciate the strategy. Feel free to write your comments, share your views, share my videos. And if you like and subscribe to them, that'd be great. And keep posting questions. Thanks a lot. All the best.